They basically just keep employing people that are going to push the narrative instead of push the story. Um, I don't know where the future is going. It's funny that people call it the X-Men. There's a lot of female, um, of female superheroes in that X-Men group, so I think it's outdated. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> G'day guys and welcome back to Raging Rhino. Alright, I know I'm a little bit late on this, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the X-Men. Now, not too long ago, Disney, Marvel Studios, I don't know who it is exactly, but it is that connection to the Disney MCU stuff, purchased the rights to the X-Men. Now, from what we're seeing coming out of Disney, every single person being put in a position where they're able to make decisions on these things is pretty much just an SJW piece of shit that doesn't actually understand anything about the IP that they're either being put in charge of or being put in, in, in some sort of creative part of it. And it's absolutely pathetic. You know, I'm, I'm a massive X-Men fan. On top of being a massive Star Wars fan, I'm a massive X-Men fan. The 90s series, X-Men series, is arguably one of the best comic book animated series of all time. It's right up there. It's really fucking good. And the thing is, is there's a lot of storylines in there that revolve around women. And they're still X-Men. It's, it's the group, it's the label, it's what they're called, it's their name. They are the X-Men. And I can't believe that this is actually happening. So... Marvel Studios promotes executive who believes the X-Men name is outdated. Now, of course, the only reason why this is really coming up again is because back when Captain Marvel came out, who she was essentially put in charge of, again, a piece of shit garbage movie, actually got interviewed and asked, now that you've got this massive toy box that you can tell all these stories in, what do you, you know, what do you think about the X-Men and all that sort of thing? And she's basically said, it's funny that you call it the X-Men, you know, it's funny that people call it the X-Men. It's so fucking insane. Now, this was originally reported by Deadline, but the Walt Disney Company and Marvel Studios promote Victoria Alonso to be the new president of physical, post-production, VFX, and animation. This lady has been promoted to a position of... Massive power over the MCU, massive power over, by the looks of things, X-Men and things like that. And she's got the gall to say stupid shit like men in X-Men, you know, it's, it's a bit outdated. Now, if you can't remember that, let's go back and let's take a listen. Oh, you guys have a lot of toys to play with now in the future, including the X-Men, right? Yeah. Could you, uh, with, of course you can't tell me much, but can you give me a little hint of what the future is coming? Where is the future going and the excitement? Um, I don't know where the future is going. It's funny that people call it the X-Men. There's a lot of female, um, of female superheroes in that X-Men group, so I think it's outdated. Um, I don't know where it's... Dumbest take on anything ever. Absolute fucking stupid. Retarded, even. You know, I think it's outdated. How stupid can you be? That's their name. It's absolutely stupid. Yes, there's men and women. There is, there is the men part of women, you know? Humanity. It's absolutely stupid. It's the worst take ever. And the fact that she has been promoted, this SJW piece of shit has been promoted to essentially president of all of these different factors of Marvel is scary. I mean, we look at Hollywood in general right now and think, fuck, it's scary, it's fucking retarded over there. They basically just keep employing people that are going to push the narrative instead of push the story. And change things like the names. I heard today that fucking Jedi is some sort of racist thing now. Or sexist thing now. It's absolutely fucking stupid. The world has gone crazy. Absolutely insane. And to promote this person to president of all of these different aspects of Marvel, you, you, you're going to see changes. You're going to see this IP completely destroyed by Disney, the company that decided to destroy Star Wars, the company that decided to build up this MCU over 10 years, and then after 10 years they decide, nah, we're going to turn away from the story now and just keep putting our identity politics bullshit into it. That's who's got their hands on the X-Men. 
And it scares the shit out of me, because for me, being an X-Men fan, I mean, I called my two cats Eric and Charles, after Eric Lencher and Charles Xavier. Right? I even have these. Right? They, I, they don't wear them because this helmet's actually too heavy. But that's, uh, that's for Eric, and that's obviously Eric's helmet. And then I've got this one, they're just collars for, for Charles. Just the wheel with the X in it. Yeah, they're men. But there was Storm, there was Jean, there was Rogue, there was Jubilee. But the only thing that we really saw her in or get any story out of her is from the animated series. They don't understand that even though it's called X-Men, men, women, all these different fans never fucking cared. And yeah, they, they, they still don't fucking care because uh, she's being absolutely roasted on Twitter or they're being roasted on Twitter for promoting her because nobody agrees with the fact that X-Men is an outdated name. Anyway, look, I just needed to get my thoughts out there on this. It just, it just pisses me off a fair bit that fucking these people are the ones that are uh, failing upwards. It's absolutely insane. No one is going to like it if you change X-Men to X-People. Or X fucking insert pronoun here. It's so fucking retarded. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Um, I don't know where the future is going. It's funny that people call it the X-Men. There's a lot of female... Um, of female superheroes in that X-Men group, so I think it's outdated. Shut up, bitch! <laughs>